Hey, here's your second slice. Um, sitting in the living room um, at my laptop, going through emails, being... I, I sometimes do this. I sit here in the living room as opposed to my studio slash office because there's a lot less distraction here. And yeah, going through emails, going, doing stuff, um, I, like preparing for the next polished proper episode of tips on the top floor and i just um got this hey chris it's uh, bernie goldbach on top gold on good social networks and i heard your new sliced method of doing tips from the top floor which i really like i'd, I'd call it snips from the top floor because you're elegantly snipping content and making it into an audio collage for us who really enjoy being there when something happens a eureka moment a major mistake a shared reflection so I, I hope you continue doing this because your method of slicing and producing on the fly is high quality audio content because it's high quality content which just happens to be spoken do it in your gravelly voice your morning voice i don't care it makes it even more authentic there are two things I need to point out to you. First of all, the thing I don't like about what you did is you made me make this voice clip right away. And when I did, while walking to work, I put my messenger bag into a pile of dog shit. So I may wipe it off the bag, or I might just keep it there remembering that I got shit from the top floor while listening to your snips. The second thing is this. This particular episode, the new format, I think it's episode 890, did not include the very nice red coffee button. So I like to make sure that stays on these clips. And then third, is there a way for all the show notes to have an automatic hyperlink that goes to the page that you have that describes your SEPA payment methods that would work for me? So there you have it. I've got a shitty messenger bag now. I have you in my earbuds. Thank you, Chris. And uh, I'd like to pay you for all that. Enjoy Siberia. And let me know, have you ever tried the Vodafone option instead of doing this eSIM dance? I'm curious. Lots of guys who come to Ireland, and I think you will do a photo shoot, discover that the Vodafone reached deep into the hinterlands of uh, acreage of space above places where the masts are normally located. The Vodafone uh, mast network is really strong in the British Isles. Maybe not in Siberia, though, huh? Enjoy. Keep on slicing. Keep on snapping. I like these snips. Bye for now. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Bernie. Thank you so much. I I spoke your name numerous times in the in the, the Patreon supporter list in the past, and it's great to hear your voice to the uh, hear the voice to the name. So thank you for sending this in. That voicemail just made my day. <laughs> Okay, let me address your points one by one. Um, once, <laughs> once I wipe the tears from my face. Snips from the top floor. I clearly missed an opportunity here. So I'll, I guess I'll still leave it at a slice thing in the titles just for consistency reasons. But yeah, snips from the top floor has a ring to it. So maybe I'll use that in the future. Um, secondly, I'm really sorry for your for your shitty messenger bag and, and I really recommend you wipe this off because otherwise there's just a little chance for you to kind of come to to associate tips on the top floor with poop and we don't really want that to happen do we um third um awesome idea about the coffee button it's back of course yeah this we're, I'm, we're learning as we go um even though people honestly people hardly use it so but I think it serves as a as a little nudge, a little reminder for everyone that there is someone here uh, putting some serious time into making this content and publishing it and polishing it and whatever. So, yeah, the button's back. Uh, there's also, as you suggested, a link to all these other support things, including the SEPA option. Because, I mean, no currency conversion fees, no donation platform fees that is... If you are in the Eurozone, if you are in the SEPA zone, then that is really the absolutely by far best option. So 
link to that is in the show notes. I've been polished the support page a little bit to make it easier. And let's see, what else? Uh, oh, Vodafone, yeah. Uh, that might be a great option on the British Isles. Actually, I remember I had a Vodafone SIM uh, when I was there a while ago. Um, now that's not necessary for me anymore because um, that's part of the Euro uh, roaming zone. So my German uh, contract covers that. Um, but internationally, at least with here in Germany, if I get a Vodafone card here in Germany, they don't really offer the like the kind of international data that, at, at, the, at the kind of price level that I'm willing to pay. And I do need a lot of data. So um, it will be the eSIM option for the foreseeable future. And it's, it's really very convenient, you know. There are more and more good options uh, coming on on the, on the market as we speak. And uh, the one, the one I got was originally created for ships crews, and now these uh, become available to everyone. So just with an app on your phone. So compared to what I had before, this is really a game changer for me. Especially as like as I can have a, like a local data plan while still being uh, available on my real phone number for voice and for SMS. So yeah, that really works for me. Uh, one last thing, <laughs> I do now realize that I <laughs> that I consistently mispronounced your name, so I'll do my best to do it do it right from now, Bernie Goldbach, and uh, I'm also very sure that I probably butchered a whole bunch of other names uh, when I read the Patreon supporter list, and uh, yeah, if you feel that your name deserves a bit more care. <laughs> then do what Bernie did. Send a quick shout out and help me get that pronunciation right. And uh, the shout out best place is still voice at tfttf.com. Thank you. Here's one more piece of news that um, just came in. And uh, I have to, I have to say uh, thanks to this, this community and how it's coming together because I got uh, a message from Mark who uh, is a listener and who um, ha brought up a suggestion that is kind of, yeah, of course, obvious once you hear it. And uh, I really thank Mark for that. It's about how to how to get more engagement on the assignments. Last last a polished episode I talked about the uh, when I gave out the, the next alphabet assignment, I talked about, uh, yeah, the, the, the lack of engagement and... Of course, one thing that can help is if we, if we have like a common spot that we, where we can meet, where we can show what we did for the assignment, where we can talk about the assignments, like the like, like the bi monthly assignments that um, that Matt Armstead does. But these are way more informal, right? There's like, okay, do whatever you want. We're not going to talk about the pictures online. That's this something among you. This is something you do for yourself, not to be mentioned on the show. Even though I might pick a few uh, if I feel like it but this is uh, something that um yeah mark brought up that why don't why don't we just create a channel on the slack yeah obvious right <laughs> so there is now a channel on the slack and um the one thing that makes that work is that mark volunteered to put those assignments in there and create a thread for every assignment so every time i give out another one of these little alphabet assignments then uh mark will create an entry in the channel and yeah, a thread for you to discuss, for you to exchange ideas, exchange photos, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. So Mark, um, thank you so much for, for stepping up and uh, for, for volunteering. This is, ah, this is what community should be like. Um, makes me feel good. Awesome. All right, that's it for this snip. Snip. <laughs> slice <laughs> whatever <laughs> thanks for listening till next time take care